Hi all, welcome back. In the previous session, we discussed how to conduct one sample t-test using SAS. In this session, we will discuss how to conduct two sample t-tests using SAS. It means the t-test for independent sample tests, whether two independent groups are significantly different from each other or not. To do this, the mean value of the two samples is compared. If the difference in the mean value is large enough, it is assumed that two groups are differ. Suppose we want to test whether there is a difference between two groups in the population. For example, whether there is a difference in salary between men and women. Since it is not possible to ask all men and women about their salary, we draw a sample. To be able to make a statement about the population on the basis of the sample, we need the independent t-test. Moreover, we will cover both the parametric and non-parametric version of the test. So whether your data meets the assumptions or not, we have got you covered. Let us now proceed with the examination of the data set. The data set in consideration is B weight data set and one can access from SAS help library. We will use proc content processor in SAS and it will provide us the information such as number of observations, data types of the variables and other additional details. Now let's write the code. Proc contents data equal to SAS help dot b weight order equal to varnum no details run and you can see here in b weight data set we have 50,000 observations and 10 variables. The variable of primary interest is weight variable. It is infant weight in grams. Additionally, we will employ the independent categorical variable married for conducting the parametric test. While for non-parametric test, we will utilize mom smoke, uh, whether the uh, mother is smoking or not to conduct the parametric and non-parametric test. To graph the data set essence, we will utilize the proc print procedure to showcase its top 10 records, offering variable insights into its character set. Let's write the code. Proc print data equal to sas help dot b weight ops equal to 10 run. And you can see here, this is how our data looks like, weight which is in grams. Uh, for parametric test, we will be using married categorical variable which is in the form of 1 and 0. And for non-parametric test, we'll be using mom smoke. And you can see again, it is in the form of 0 and 1. Let's start with the parametric version of the two sample t-test. This assumes that our data follows a normal distribution, has equal variances between the groups, the two groups of samples must be independent and the dependent variable must be continuous. However, a noteworthy consideration. The violation of normal distribution is often trivial due to the application of the central limit theorem. This theorem stipulates that with sufficiently large sample size that is typically more than 30, the distribution of sample means tends to approximate a normal distribution, irrespective of the underlying population distribution. Consequently, for ample sample sizes, the t-test can be employed without necessitating a normality test. Now we are going to conduct the t-test in SAS using the PROC t-test procedure. The t-test procedure in SAS performs t-test and computes confidence limit for one sample paired observation or the two sample t-tests. And moreover, PROC t-test can also be used to produce histograms, QQ plots, box plots and confidence limit plots. Our next course of action involves the formulation of the hypothesis. Specifically, they are defined as follows. A null hypothesis is the mean infant birth weight of married and unmarried women is the same, whereas uh, for the alternate hypothesis, the mean infant birth weight of married and unmarried women is not the same. Now, we will call the PROC test procedure. PROC t-test data equal to 
sas help dot b weight and we will uh, configure the alpha equal to 0 0.05 this alpha level signifies a 5% acceptance of the risk of committing a type 1 error which is to wrongly reject the null hypothesis when it is true we are categorizing the data by the married variable using the class option class Married. The weight variable is specified as a dependent variable to be analyzed using the var option. Var weight. And that's it. Let's run a code. Before we analyze the t test results, let me mention that we are assuming all the assumptions are satisfied for the two sample t tests, i.e., normality and the homogeneity of the variance is satisfied. Now let's analyze the output. You can see here the summary statistics such as number of observations, mean, standard deviation, standard error, min and max values. It also provides a confidence interval of infant birth weight for married and unmarried women around sample mean and sample and standard deviation are reported. Notice that p value that is reported in the third box for pooled method and that is less than 0.05 Hence, we can conclude that mean value of infant birth weight of married and unmarried women is not the same. Again repeating, when performing a parametric t-test, employ the pooled methods p-value to either reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis for the two sample t-tests. Now, we have talked about the assumptions, the normality and the homogeneity of variances. For homogeneity of the variances, you can use this particular box, equality of the variance, and you can see here it is less than 0 0.05. This data set is not perfect. I just wanted to show you how you can conduct the parametric t-test procedure uh, using SAS. However, in the real world, you should check both the assumptions, normality as well as uh, equality of the variance. Uh, normality assumptions you can overlook if you have a large enough sample size as i've already mentioned but equality of the variance which is less than 0 0.05 here and since it is less than 0 0.05 the equality of variance assumption has failed and in that particular case we should actually be conducting the non-parametric t-test not the parametric test but here i'm just trying to show you how one can conduct the parametric test using sas so keep that particular thing in mind Moving on, let's explore non-parametric t-test. We will be focusing on two types, the Wells t-test and the Mann-Whitney u-test. Let's explore Wells t-test. Imagine you have a data and want to compare two groups, but the assumption of homogeneity of variance between them doesn't hold true. This is where the Wells t-test shines. The Wells t-test is also known as unequal variance t-test or separate variant test. Now let's write the code. In fact, let me copy this piece of the code. And as I had mentioned, for this one, a categorical variable we are interested in is mom smoke. And that's it. Let's run the code. Now let's check our equality of variance. Since the p value here is less than 0.05, Hence, we can conclude that the equality of variance assumption has not met and that's why we have to conduct the Wells t-test which is a non-parametric t-test. And here in this particular box where you can see pooled and sutter weight method and as I had already told you in that for the parametric t-test we use pooled method. For non-parametric t-test we are going to use a sutter weight method. And since here the p-value is less than 0.05 we reject a null hypothesis that the infant weight for whether the mom is smoking or not smoking is same is not true. And this is how one can conduct Wells t-test in SAS. Now let's switch gears to Mann-Whitney test. This one is perfect when you have data that might not follow a regular pattern. Moreover, it works even on ordinal data. 
Now let's see how we can conduct the Man Whitney test using SAS. Let me call proc n power one way procedure data equal to sas help dot b weight and we are going to call Wilcoxon option. Now we are going to call a categorical variable Marie and a dependent variable in the var option uh, which is weight. Let me put up a title here too. Testing whether the median infant weight of married and unmarried women is the same or not. And let's run the code. In the script, we are assuming you have a variable name married representing the categorical grouping, variable married or unmarried, and a variable name weight containing the numerical values you want to con compare. The proc and way procedure will, will coxon option performs a man with new test. That is in the summary. Now, the second box where it is showing Wilcoxon 2 sample t-test and you can see here the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Hence, we can conclude that the median infant weight of married and unmarried women are not the same. There you have it folks. We have just covered how to perform a two sample t-test using SAS both in the parametric and non-parametric cases. Whether your data meets the assumption or not, these tests provide valuable insights into the difference between the two groups. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.